What is going on guys? So in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the mechanical acuity changes coming in update 32 in the Deadlands DLC. I get this question every live stream. Is mechanical acuity going to be worth running now? Is it nerfed? Is it buffed? What's going on with mechanical? Can I still run it? What's an alternative? What do I do? I hope to answer that question in this video, but I do want to preface this whole video by saying I can only test this on the PTS. That means I can only duel. So with that being said, dueling isn't an actual replication of how actual PVP is in 99% of the situations, because in dueling, there's really only one way to play. In open world, there's so many different ways to play, and I prefer to play a really squishy spec so dueling really isn't my strong suit at least on how i like to play my classes now so it's hard to get an actual representation of how this set is going to work in you know, open world pvp versus just testing it with dueling because i'm only fighting one person if I'm finding out numbered, I can get more procs and mechanical QD faster. So you have to take everything with a grain of salt. But overall, I'm gonna give you my overview here in the beginning, and we're gonna deep dive into where I came to this conclusion at and all that. So I tested this specifically on the Stamina Templar. I didn't test this much on Stam Blade because I think that there's gonna be better alternatives. Now, doesn't, don't get me wrong, mechanical acuity, I still think will be fine on the Stam Blade, but the biggest issue with mechanical is trying to keep the pressure up so you can keep the uptime up. It's basically kind of morphed from a burst of damage set to now a longer duration over time, which is going to mainly help like dot classes like Magic DK and Stam DK. Stamplar is a little bit of a tweener. It has some opportunity to keep up the mechanical with just biting jabs alone. But overall, I feel that mechanical acuity has taken a hit. Is it still going to be viable? Yes, it will. But I think overall, you're going to run this on a lot less classes. Mainly the reason being it's just hard to stay offensive for that whole duration to keep up in mechanical acuity stacks. Before you would just light attack or do any type of direct damage and you have a 100% crit chance for five seconds. Now you have to keep dealing damage with mechanical to keep the stacks up so you can guarantee you're gonna get up to that 100% crit chance. That's the biggest issue I see with it. And it only lasts for four seconds per stack. So in theory, you can get, I guess, like close to 12 seconds uptime at least, but it's gonna be very hard to do that. I was anywhere averaging between like six to eight to nine seconds, at least on my sampler. On my Magic DK, I, I pretty much got that up all the time, but I accidentally, reloaded my UI on the CMX and lost all of my fights. So I have two fights here, one on my Stamplar and one on my Magic DK. So you guys can see the uptimes, but mainly I'm just gonna be talking about it and kind of what's going on. So what actually changed on mechanical acuity? So whenever you deal non-critical damage, you gain a stack of acuity for four seconds, granting you 20% crit chance per stack up to once every one second and stacking up to five times. Meaning if you have 1% crit chance, you can get up to over 100% crit chance with five stacks. Upon reaching max stacks or after the effect ends, this effect cannot occur once every 25 seconds. So the old mechanical acuity, what it does is whenever you deal direct damage, you gain unearning mechanical vision for five seconds, granting you 100% crit chance and this effect can occur once every 21 seconds. So it got a four second increase in, in downtime and it can just go down if you don't uh if you only deal critical damage which is kind of a catch-22 because you want to deal non-critical damage to increase your stacks to get up to that 100 crit chance but the closer you get to 100 crit chance the less overall chances you have to deal uh non-critical damage so the, the higher you go the harder it is to proc it so that means getting that fourth or even that fifth proc is still going to be rather difficult so I think the best way to really look at mechanical acuity to see if it's worth it or not to you to run it is to look at your crit chance. Now I have a 28.4% crit chance. So this means I could only get to four stacks. Why do you say that? Well, it adds 20% crit chance to my character whenever I deal non-critical damage. So I can't get to five stacks because I'll be above 100% crit chance then at that point. And I can't deal non-critical damage if my crit chance is above 100%. So that means if you want to get the most value out of mechanical acuity, you need to be at 19% crit chance or, or lower. I mean, I mean that's, that's the best way to get the most value out of it. But if you do that, then when you're off of your mechanical acuity, you're going to have no luck. I mean, you're basically going to have 10% crit chance and you're really stacking crit damage if you're on mechanical acuity. So honestly, it's going to be spreading your stats out too thin and you're only going to be relying on the short time frame for your overall damage. So this leads me into talking about a set like advancing okita this is going to give me 17 percent crit chance with all the stacks up on the five piece and including the two and the four piece it gives me 17 percent crit chance in theory mechanical acuity 
gives me up to 48% weapon crit very easily. Okay, that's very easy. Okay, we get two sacks of 68. Then we get three sacks of 88. And that's pretty much it. I mean, we had 108. Now we can't get any more stacks. So, with that being said, having that mechanical acuity will give us that more crit chance in that short duration. But after that, we're going back down to our low crit chance of 28.4. And especially if you're going to be running something like the Shadow Munda Stone, like especially on the Stand Blade, um, that short duration really isn't going to be worth it anymore. I mean, right now you can, on the live server, you just stack that crit damage. And for that five seconds, you're guaranteed crit damage, whether that's going to be healing, whether that's going to be damage on your ultimate or whatnot. Now it only increases your crit chance. So I think the, another way to really look at this is look at our CMX, okay? So this is a duel against a uh, stamina DK if we load the fight. So in the whole entire fight, we had a 53% total of critical damage. Okay, 53% total of, of our attacks were a critical strike. Of our healing, they were 47%. Now, ultimately, this is on the higher side of my entire fight, mainly because I'm fighting a stam DK. So it's easy to hit them because they really want to soak up damage and they're very tanky. It's very easy to you know keep up your prox mechanical to give you that crit chance. The main reason why I like mechanical acuity on the live server is it gives me really good healing. So if you look here, we have 40% of our vigors were uh, critical strikes. So that means about on average in the entire fight, in, the, in two minutes, so the fight was two minutes, 40% um, of our vigors were critical strikes. Now, keep in mind, our crit chance is at 28%. So that's only an extra 12% crit chance. So in reality, if you're just looking at basic math at that standpoint, we're gonna have more uptime on our vigors with uh, advancing Okita because we're gonna be at 45% crit chance in that whole duration. Uh, of our damage, we're only at 53%, okay? So that's not even that much higher, right? And we're still basically running the same thing. Uh, mechanical gives us uh the only thing it gives us differently is a little bit of extra uh stamina and and uh, a little bit of extra magic which is which is good don't get me wrong but you're really talking you're, you're splitting hairs at this point and this is going to give you more uptime at least with the events you know, key to give you more crit chance in longer duration so in theory the more chances you have to critically strike and you don't have to be so tunnel visioned with your mechanical for that short duration I think Advancing Okita is going to be the better option, at least for overall circumstances in PvP. Now, if you get lucky, great, right? I mean, there's some there's some luck involved in this game with crit chance, but I think ultimately mechanical acuity is, it has has been dethroned. So that kind of leads me into other sets to run. Now, Advancing Okita will give you a more broad approach to crit chance if you still want to do that, but I really think that sadly we're going to have to get away from our crit chance. I love it too, I know. I think we're gonna go into a more of a scathing mage type of route, going back to our good old Devly, maybe even try out some Dagons. There's a lot of good sets out there for uh, Stamplar. So what are some good alternatives to mechanical acuity? Now this is the biggest question I think a lot of you guys have. So advancing Okita, if you still wanna do critical damage, I think advancing is probably gonna be your best bet. But if you wanna go away from that route, we're gonna to have to drop our Khajiit. Uh, if you're running the Shadow Monday Zone, you're gonna to have to drop that. Probably gonna go the Warrior or the Serpent or even extra penetration but what i'm looking at is here's a few sets so i'm looking at skating mage this is a good alternative i think this gives you 516 weapon and spell damage um fully golded out now this does give you max magic which isn't too bad at least for the uh stamina templar even the stamina knife blade isn't too bad for this um but the biggest issue is it's five second uptime i think it's gonna be best on something like a stamplar but for five seconds it's kind of short um, that could be decent. Ultimately, I think Moon Hunter may be a little bit better in that aspect. I did test this. It's rather hard to proc on like sneaky classes like Stand Blade, but the uptime against like a DK and stuff like that, it's actually not too bad. This actually gives you the most weapon damage in the game, I do believe, for that short eight seconds. Um, 121 weapon damage, 121 weapon damage, and that big 515 weapon damage. Uh, obviously, what is fully gold, but it gives you a lot of damage. Just, just know that. So we could go back to running Devlin's Assassin just to give us that raw 200 weapon damage at fully gold, giving us a, a decent proc. Since Proxus can now crit strike, I think ultimately Devlin's could be very, very good. Also, we got good old Briarheart still. I think Briarheart could be a good alternative. Um, it still gives us some decent crit chance so we can get some critical healing. And then we have basically a 10 second uptime 
on um, the extra weapon damage. I think this could be a very good option. Don't forget about Deadly, at least for the Stamplar. You know, Deadly still is going to be fine. But I would like to go a little bit away from, from Deadly since it has gotten nerfed by 5% over the duration uh, of the past few updates. Um, and we probably would replace it with Dagon's. I think Dagon's is probably going to be a good alternative here. Uh, mainly because, you know, this gives you some good stats. I mean, a 2, 3, and a 4, and a 5 piece. Um, great overall damage. Um, since Deadly is a percentage base now, you want to actually have a little bit more scaling if you're going to get away from crit damage. Um, I think ultimately Dagon's is probably going to be at the throne on the Stamplar. Running something like uh, Deadlands Assassin and Dagon's could be pretty good. How I like to put my builds here recently in the past few patches is have a base damage set that doesn't need a proc. Okay, it's like Devlin's Assassin. It gives you a great overall two, three, four piece. And then that five piece gives you a little bit of extra weapon damage. So ultimately, that's probably what I'm looking at right now. And then have a set that kind of procs off of it together. So something like Briarheart or, or even have a base set like Dagon's could be pretty good with that as well. So as of right now, those are my alternatives, at least for the uh, Stamina Templar. So now let's talk a little bit about Stamblade, okay? I didn't test it much, mainly because I know it's not going to be the best. Like, Stamplar can keep up the mechanical stacks pretty easily because of biting jabs. You know, you deal, you hit jab one time and there's like four or five attacks that come out of it, uh, including the Burning Light. So, very easy to keep up your mechanical because you're going to have five chances in a second to proc it. For Stamblade, it's going to be surprise attack and that's it. I mean, unless you're fighting outnumbered and you're hitting everybody with a Whirling Blades, like three or four people, that's really the only time you're really going to be able to proc your mechanical. So with that being said, we're kind of have to get away from that. I don't think it's going to be the best in PvP. I think there's going to be some better options. So for my stand blade, what I'm looking at right now, something of the sorts of Stygian, this is going to stay on my build. I really like this set a lot. It's honestly very, very great. Uh, gives me good healing. Now, a few other things I'm looking at is Calrians. Um, I think Calrians could be pretty sneaky. Uh, I think it's getting a lot stronger now that it can deal critical damage. And so whenever you do critical damage with a light or heavy attack, now you launch a projectile every 10 seconds. So this is what I'm looking at on a stand blade. So with the new smart loot aspect, I think calories will definitely be a lot easier to get. Definitely looks very, very strong uh, for, for stand blade because you know you can pretty much guarantee a crit strike with the light attack uh, coming out of stealth. And I think this could be pretty nasty, honestly. Uh, still running maybe a back bar of H from 2H. Uh, to still have a little bit of extra burst damage, but this is what I'm looking at right now. Also, keep in mind, we have the uh, Chaotic Whirlwinds from Asylum. This thing looks pretty gnarly. Um, when you cast Whirlwind, you gain a stack of Chaotic Whirlwind for 5 seconds, granting you 5% movement speed per stack, up to 5 times. So you can get 25% movement speed, and you gain 6 uh, weapon damage per 1% of movement speed bonus you have. So incorporating Ring of the Wild Hunt, I think this could be a staple on a lot of stamina classes next patch. Um, I'm really looking forward to this set, especially in other classes, not even just Stam Blade, like Stam Sork, and maybe even some Stamina DK, right? So ultimately, there's a lot of options. I uh, definitely just have to wait to see on, on testing a lot of these things in actual PvP. Like I said, it's always hard to test on the PTS. So what is my final verdict right now? I think Mechanical Acuity has been dethroned. From my initial thoughts i thought it would still be somewhat viable in certain aspects like especially on the sampler but now that i've actually tested it it just doesn't feel the same that burst damage you got for that five seconds felt absolutely amazing and yet another set that's in a max goes from very very strong to completely gutted in a one update uh it's been a recurring theme we know I mean, rip in chat for Hrothgar that was nerfed in a uh, incremental patch, which had never happened before uh, in the entirety of ESO. So keep it in mind that this is just testing. I will test this again on live server. So definitely keep your ears out for that. Uh, I'm going to run basically what I'm running right now. And if it feels like trash on live day, I'm going to change it up. I already kind of have a roadmap of what I want to go for and what I want to do. But keep, you know, kind of be branching off into other setups. If you want to take advantage of mechanical acuity right now i definitely would recommend it it's a lot of fun right now 
but ultimately i understand if you want to kind of go away from it and really try some other things go into more base damage maybe drop your khajiit and shadow mundus go into a more of an orc and warrior mundus stone type of spec probably going to be your best overall aspect so you don't get too attached to your to your mechanical acuity like i have over the past few patches so mechanical it's fine but it's not as good as it used to be and i think there's definitely going to be better alternatives next patch for overall pvp but that is all for this video guys i hope this kind of helped you kind of sift through all the information about mechanical i know you guys have been asking for a long time and i hope this kind of helped you out you know figuring out what you need to do for your spec but that's it for me and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace Thank <laughs> you.